hello guys welcome back in today's tutorial we gonna do finishing of the remaining geometry as we did in part one so in part two we're gonna finish up like this remember you can see over here we left 0 0.3 0 0.03 thou on the edges for the finishing and then we're gonna do drilling and circle milling of these holes so let's get started make sure to watch the entire video so first of all over here we're gonna click alt and t to hide the tool paths and now we're gonna go to counter for the finishing operation we're gonna use counter tool path over here you can read it says counter what counter do is remove material along a path defined by a chain or curve so click on counter and now we're gonna select our chain or path on which it gonna work so click on c plane and then make sure your chain is selected and then just simply go to the bottom chain hold shift key and then click over here and you can see over here right now it's in anti-clockwise direction the green arrow is pointing over here to the right side and then it's going back it means it's an anti-clockwise but we're gonna change it to clockwise direction so for that we're gonna go over here and click reverse and now you can see the direction is clockwise so click ok and now we're gonna select our tool so we're gonna select our quarter inch flat end mill if you didn't see over here you're gonna go to filter and then select over here end mill and then go to equal and make the value 0.25 ok and then from select library to you're gonna see over here one fourth flat end mill so I'll I'm gonna click no for this time because I already selected it so over the comment we're gonna say finishing and then from here you can change the speed and feed according to the material so this is just an example so I'm not gonna change anything over here so go to cut parameters leave everything default make sure it's left if it's right it gonna do compensation inside but we are doing from outside so we're gonna make it left and then from here everything gonna be zero because it's a finishing operation and now we're gonna go to depth cuts we're gonna enable depth cuts as you can see over here our total depth is of two inch so we're gonna make maximum depth to 0.5 inch max rough step to 0.5 so leave everything as a default go to lead in and out and then change this to 60 percent of tool so copy this same to exit and now we don't gonna use any breakthrough no multi passes is needed because it just a uh, finishing and then simply go to linking parameters enable clearance make sure it's absolute two inches everything should be absolute and then for the depth we're gonna click on associated and then from here we're gonna select a point so for the point i'm gonna select the bottom chain so and then click ok and now you can see master game gonna start generating its tool path and it, this is our first step this is second this is third and the last one gonna be fourth and in fourth path four passes this is gonna complete its counter tool paths to verify it click on select all operations and then go to verify tab click over here and then you can see over here this is our first step from our part one if you didn't watch the part one please make sure to watch the link is in description or you can watch in the click over here to the top right corner so this that's what we did in our first tutorial part one and you can see the another operation and then you're gonna see this is our finishing operation the purple color shows the finishing of these edges so similarly now we're gonna do finishing of these edges so for that i'm not gonna do another counter we just simply to save our time we're gonna copy the tool path how we gonna copy is as i mentioned in part one 
we're gonna right click on a of a mouse on top of first before doing anything just make sure the green tick is only on this toolpath so for there just select the select all and then just simply click over here to select this the green tick shows only this toolpath is selected and now hold right mouse and drag it over here and left and then click on copy after and then you're gonna see our toolpath is copied we're gonna move this arrow to the downside for that click over here move insert arrow and then you can see it's come to the down bottom and now we're gonna go is we're gonna first change our chaining because in our third toolpath we select the bottom chain but this time we're gonna select chain from here so let's select it how we're gonna select this go to geometry and then you can see over here this thing comes up and then just simply right click of mouse and then rechain all and by this the master game gonna give option to select the chain again so this time we're gonna select are uh, these chains so how we're gonna select this make sure it's in clockwise direction so first i'm gonna start from here so what i'm gonna do is make sure it's partial is enabled and then click on the this side and you can see it's clockwise then add another click over here and then add another click over here the direction is different so how we gonna do is from here we can reverse it click over here add another and then similarly do all select all edges we want to finish so this is a mess little bit so how we gonna deselect this is from here you can see unselect and now you're gonna see this is clockwise and then actually this is clockwise and then select over here add another from here to here add another and by this you can see oh, okay so now you can see all chaining is select so click ok and then now we're gonna change our parameters so click on parameters and then over here we just don't gonna change anything over here we're gonna leave everything as it is and now go to linking parameters the thing we wanna change is our depth so how we gonna change is this time click on associate and over here delete point and then select again select point and this time select the bottom of this chain so click ok and now you can see over here the cross showings the toolpath need to be regenerate so click over here to regenerate selected operation so master gun cam gonna make again a toolpath as per our selected chain so you can see over here we are getting we're gonna get two passes so how to verify is we simply select all operations click on verify and then just gonna start verifying it this is our first step roughing and then the blue color shows our roughing of these edges and then the purple shows finishing of this and then green shows finishing of these edges so now we are done with our outer geometry now we're gonna focus on drilling and circle milling in the inner holes so for that we're gonna go to expand gallery and then click on drill once you click on drill you're gonna select the hole so you're gonna select this this hole and this hole and then this click ok and then our holes are selected so go to tool so filter none and then select our spot drill just ignore the diameter click ok 
comment over here sport drill and then from here we gonna select our tool so we gonna select around three fourth sport drill so go to stock cut parameters leave everything as it is go to linking parameters enable it everything absolute and then over here from to associate so we gonna do is increment so the depth it show it says it's point minus point two but we just need minus point two five so click ok and now to verify it we simply click over here we're not gonna select all operations we just gonna select our drilling operations so go to verify tab so you can see over here our spot drill is done so now we're gonna do drilling so our the through hole size is of half inch so we're gonna use half inch drill so how we're gonna use is again we're gonna copy the same operation drag it put it down copy after make that arrow down and then just simply click click on parameters and then this time select our tool we're gonna change our tool to drill so this is spot drill before select on none and then go to drill it should be here it says drill make it equal to 0.5 which is half inch so click ok and now we're gonna go to our select loop select library tool go to half inch drill click ok and just say here drilling hole and now we're gonna go to cut parameters we're gonna make it to pack drill so first pack gonna be of 0.25 and then subsequent pack gonna be also 25 and leave everything as the default go to linking parameters and then the pack drill here is exactly it's g73 in cnc programming so now we're gonna go to linking parameters so go to everything should be absolute and then our depth gonna be associate and this time we're gonna select the bottom of the hole so now we're gonna go to tip compensation we're gonna make it enable and how much you want to be a length we just randomly gonna say point one two five and then click on okay and then you're gonna see the we need to regenerate the toolpath so just simply click on regenerate toolpath so our toolpath is regenerated we're gonna select both operations sport drill and drill and then verify it and now you're gonna see this is drill and the blue line shows our drill i gonna again show you again one more time sport drill and this is our drill going back drill so it's exactly you can see over here i'm gonna make a little faster it's going by 0.25 to 0.25 every time why it's going 0.25 because over here in the parameters we select our pack drill to 0.25 in every step so click ok so this part is done the only part left is now is just a circle milling so how we're gonna do is we're gonna go to expand our gallery in the toolpath and then look for circle mill and then over here you can see we have circle mill click over here to the circle mill and then just simply select our circle we want to mill so click ok and now we're gonna go to tool we're gonna use half inch flat end mill and then comment over here circle mill and then you can change your feeds and speeds here so go to cut parameters 
make everything as it is on floors and wall make it zero and then go to roughing make sure to enable roughing and make our step over to 50 percent leave everything as it is then for the finishing enable finishing finishing just one pass and then go to depth cuts we don't want to use the depth cuts anymore here so just simply go to breakthrough and we don't need any breakthrough because it's not a through hole so go to linking parameters simply enable clearance as we do in every step so everything should be absolute for your safety and then for the depth we're gonna go associate and then select point bottom of here like something like this so click ok and then you're gonna see our tool gonna be generate master game gonna generate circle mill tool path if you want to get more detail in circle mill you can find find a link in description or you can click over here to the right you can see over here right corner to find more detail on circle milling for the better understanding so now we gonna do is select all operations and you can see the green tick is in all folders and now we're gonna verify our final product so over here as you can see i'm gonna start this is our part one tutorial which we did roughing of these semicircles and then i'm gonna make it a little more faster and the second one you're gonna see the roughing of the the outer slots and then and here you're gonna see our tutorial part number two which is finishing this is the finishing you can see over here and then this is the finishing of our slots and then drill and then you can see our tutorial is done if you found this tutorial helpful please make sure to like and comment below if you have any queries please don't forget to share with your friends for to help them in learning master cam so thanks for watching guys see you in next video